Okay, let's go ahead and get started on traps. Finally, a good build. These shit builds have been burning me out. I need something good. good day. All right, you guys know the deal. Players eight. We still got our same setup. We are gonna try uh, the Act Five mark this time since we've got Sigan's helm and chest. Since we found that on the last character, that might be enough attack rating. As long as he can tank, I can do the damage. Oh fuck me sideways. I always forget that you have to set all your macros. Or not your macros, your keybinds. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna mute my fat mouth. And players ate it up. I there is a good day. They'll never see me coming. I feel so slow without my Sanders boots, my burst of speed, and my charms. This is not living. If you are starting a new character and you have to suck it and deal with this, I'm so sorry. When you get the chance before you make your next character, make sure you invest into either move speed charms, boots, belt, something. Because unless you have teleport, this is not the way.
The order welcomes you. Good day. I think we gotta make it to level six first. Then we get our poison charms unlocked. So yeah, we just gotta kinda suck it for now. There we go. Oh, those potions are healing kinda slow. Come on, homie. There we go. Yeah. I need more. That's so sad. And level five. Come on. Boosh. Ooh. So we need twelve. Well, before... Well, once we get to level 6, we'll have our charms to carry us. So we'll be good. Just make it to... Make it to that and go forward. Okay, we're definitely going to switch to shield this time, because dual wielding is crap. I swear, the only charms I seem to get, like the majority of them, is either individual resistance or poison charms. When I was doing cows, that's all I was getting. Or sorry, when I was re-rolling the charms, more accurately. I think like a few hundred perfect diamonds. So you just kill stuff, farm it, roll it. Repeat until success. I normally have to put on like a TV show or something because it's kind of mind numbing. It's not something you think about, you just do it. Alright, kill one of these girls. Oh god. You had to slow, didn't you? I want her minion. But she's gonna wail on me so hard. I'll be back for you. Let me just hit six real quick. doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does AoE, so that's what we're trying to do. Oop. Oh, is this the one? That's the one. There we go. Alright, let's go <clears throat> grab our damage charms. And then we can show them what's what. So you see how painful that was. There are three types of ways you can do this. You can do Grand Charms at level 1. It'll make your starting point way easier. But it's at one-fourth of the damage. Because it takes up three slots. You can't have a double. The second way would be Large Charms. Large Charms do the exact same damage. Six damage. But it takes up two spots. So you can only have two, two. So it's 50 percent of the damage because it'd be six and six now this one takes the longest to farm but if you have access to a bunch of perfect gems just grab any small charm i swear the ones i get the most are these 
Well, I do tend to get life ones a lot too, but it's always resistance, poison, resistance, poison, resistance, poison. And then resistance with damage. So I got lucky with the faster run walk all resistance. That one's nice. But yeah, this will make your starting point way better. Way better. I don't think I'll need cold on her just because she's going to be a, a trapper. But I don't get my trap until... I don't get the good one until 24. This is kind of the crappy one. Alright, so now... Yeah, look at that. That's way better. If I can even attack her. There we go. So now we have the charms to carry us. So remember, move speed charms, I highly recommend. These poison charms are only going to help you through lower levels. They stop really helping you at around 16, 18. Because everything in Act 2 is a skeleton or undead, and they're all immune to poison. So this will help you get to your move speed charms. That's all they're there for. Is to help you get to like your 24 or 30 skill. And then you're on your own. But I highly recommend it. Now, if you don't want to bother farming all these, just do like six grand charms, and that will not take you long at all. You could probably do that in 30 minutes or an hour, if that. Pick up every grand charm you see at cows, or wherever, grab some perfect diamonds, reroll it. You'll easily get the level 1 poison charms. I don't need cane. My bad. I'm so used to doing this online where you always get cane, but you don't actually need them because how often are you going back to the end? I think it's just a habit. I think we just like doing it. Every character I make, I think about doing it, because I've been doing it for so long. It would be nice if we had a way to AoE spread our poison, but we don't have, like, strafe or anything. town soon. I should have gear to equip. Oh, crap. So if you ever see level 2, that gold wall, that means you went the wrong way. An underground passage is always supposed to be the, uh, I think, Dark Woods output. What do I need? Because I want to roll this as hybrid, fire and lightning. So I need, um, I need to check. After I slaughter everyone. Okay, yeah, you guys done? Thank you. I hear a bow user. Dick. Twenty, forty, sixty. Okay, now here's the thing. Everything in hell is basically immune to fire. That's what it feels like, at least. So, I think the way I'm gonna do it is... Twenty, forty, sixty. 80, 100. Because Wake of Inferno is horrible. 
it shoots a very slow beam, and eventually it hits the target. So I just need something to help with the fire immunes. Or lightning immunes. There we go. I'm gonna come back for these. And it looks like nothing yet. I know I'm getting close to those. Oh, I need 60 strength, that's why. So I'll come back for that. Is it down there or up here? Oh crap, that's right, I won't be able to max out Fade either. So I have to think, 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 80, and then, what is that leaving with, 32 points? So, 20, and then part into the synergy. It'll be a weak, it'll be a weak fire hybrid, just because, again, there's so many immunities. So in order to compensate, I'm gonna need a good mercenary with a crushing blow from the helm. And because the Act 5 uh, Merc attacks so fast with Frenzy, he should be fine when I get him a crushing blow set up. I just need to get a good weapon on him. I should look into some cheap uh, Ruin Words for swords. I just haven't done it yet. I was trying to make it a budget build, and I didn't want people to have to farm ruins just to go through with the build. I wanted to use, like, basic gear, basic shit that just drops on the way. Not the way you would do it online, where you just spend hours farming items. And that's our cold set. Mana set, level 15. So I think I'm good until 23. 22, okay. Alright, let's continue then. Twenty percent move speed on the boots, that'll help us out a little bit. And again, this is player's aid, that's why the low level skills, especially in traps, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. That's why I prefer the poison setup. And then once I get to twenty-four, my lightning sentry will be the king of damage. why I had this idea with the charms in the beginning. Whenever I would use the druid, I would use poison creeper. The problem with poison creeper, once you get at a normal, or even in act 4 and 5, it just, it seems to fall off so quickly. But early on, the poison damage is amazing. So whenever I would run him, I would always use creeper, poison enemies, level extremely fast. Then I would use someone like the Barb, and use like Double Swing, or use the Amazon and use Magic Arrow, and I'm like, damn, this is so ridiculously slow. So then I just started farming Poison Charms and putting them on them, because I figured, hell, it's only six, so let's see what it does. And players, one, it's overpowered. It kills them very quickly. 
So then I was like, oh shit, I can just do Players 8 like this. And back in the year, I think 2000, this is the build I would use on all my characters. And that's why I made the name Venom Slayer X back in like 1999 or 2000. I think that you get the title Slayer just from beating the game. Uh, it's either Normal Nightmare or Hell. You know how you get Patriarch, Matriarch and all that. And then... I just like Venom, obviously. That's one of my favorite skills right there. And the Roman numeral X is... Just because I've done this so many times, it should probably be a C by now. For 100. But the alias always stuck with me. I was never really creative with names. So once I found a name I like, I just stuck with it. Okay, that's what we wanted. Fire resistance, faster hit recovery. So that's good. I feel like we're missing something. I guess we're good. Just need levels now. we're getting from Sigins. Look at that. They have a 15% chance to hit me. So, on your next character, if you can get the Sig set, it doesn't really matter what you use it on. You can use it on a Sorceress if you want to, but since it has such high defense at such a low level, they really can't hit you. And again, it's player's 8, and they are just acting a fool. Alright, the next step is level 18 for the Poison Claw with the perfect diamonds. I think it's 45 decks, so we'll put 45 in the decks and then the rest into Vitality. We shouldn't need anything for energy, just because we have a cover with rings and amulets. Block rate's only 14 minutes on the See, that starts to get a little bit better. Charges at least something. I still prefer... That's probably my favorite one. Lightning Sentry is the best damage, but Death Sentry is going to be better if you're popping corpses on cows. But we're just doing a quick level build, so I'll stick with Lightning Sentry and a hybrid so I can counter the immunes. Because I have to be able to solo the throne room. I can't do that if I'm pure lightning. I don't care about the little guys. I just don't like him resurrecting them constantly. right? 12%? Yeah. That's the only reason why I'm like kind of going AF not AFK but inactive in front of them when I set the trap because their hit rate is so low with the SIG set they shouldn't be able to touch me. That one I can't. That'll be it. 
Or no, F3, my bad. I need the lightning and F2 as the primary. So you see the AoE on this? That's so much better. It is slightly weaker, I'll give it that. But it covers so much more area. Yeah, I guess for a low level I can keep it. Alright, so we want them all to follow us, and then we can just light them up. I think I'm getting hit by magic, though. Yeah, that's what it is, the lightning. And then this guy's resurrecting. Bad boy. Because the melee attacks would have missed me constantly. That was definitely magic hitting me. So that one's doing pretty good. 24. Alright, where do we screw up? actually pretty strong. Well, it is Act 1, though, so everything's going to be strong. But that's not bad at all. It's got to be that one down there. Otherwise, it's going to be in with him. I don't think I've ever seen it in the room with him. He's normally off the trail. There we go. Yeah. They normally normally separate. I've never seen the floor right by him, map-wise. Unless they generated new maps since I've last played. Since it covers less ground, it's kind of less effective. So the fire trap, that's such a wide burst that you're going to hit a lot of targets. Twelve percent chance to hit me. Beep boop. Guys are highly resistant to lightning, so we're actually gonna have to switch up to fire. 
Alright, we know Endarial has like 50% negative resistance to fire, so we'll probably use the traps on her. The fire traps, even at level 1, it should be stronger than the other one. The charge bolt trap. that level in the decks, and then we can switch over to Vite.
Womp womp. Shit, was it the one right by me? Damn it, there was. I was headed towards the right area too, and I fast hackwards it all the way around the damn map.
I need mana. These maps are amazing. Ta da! Yeah, five. Five shots, five traps. Don't you resurrect. Cold resist. I always get the resistance Not ones first. Not in town. Good evening. Good. Give ourselves some more HP and more mana, and then this can go to the merchant or the mercenary. So we can kind of alternate. If we need more mana, we'll put the helm on. If we need more life, we'll put this helm on. I prefer that because look at that—that that doubles my HP. Not here. So for players eight, I definitely find that useful. Ratings. And I just need more mana because I'm getting tapped out quickly. Yeah, that's triple my mana. We gotta spam fire on her while we have the antidote running. I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. Now see with the large age people we're good. I never I never see people use like triple socketed gyms. But dude, look at how much life that gives you. If I were running hardcore, I would be decked out in perfect gyms just to play it safe. Because look at this, this is players eight and I can tank Andy. If it were players one, I'd run right through her. Death becomes you on Dario. Okay, Andy's dead. We'll go back and get the den. Crap. And crap. I'm not trying to bug the Act 1 Andy quest. Otherwise, I'd skip everyone in town and just go to Act 2.
love how much it covers. If the range were a little bit further, it'd be really nice. But the spread of that thing is very nice. So now I can basically cover the map, or the screen. I just need a mer uh, Merc giving me a meditation, and then the I'm good. The test is done. Not here. Okay, that's it. Act one complete. Grab our skill point. Good to go. Wait till 24 and head to Act 2. That wasn't so bad. Greetings. 